Stacy Shad. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take this moment of the day to backlash all my reels and get them all. There's a big one. That's a big one. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a real big one. For you, that three, was a real big one. Three pounder. Rochi. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Is this a flipper? I think it's a flipper. Yeah, of course. Flip it into Jeff. Yeah. Alright. Raise him. Yep, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. Is this your first time boat flipping? Right. I'm here. Get it in the boat. Alright. Alright, we're on the board. Here we go. Good job there, guy. Remember this was that big one I hooked in there? Yeah. Anytime today. Yeah, Just trying. hold it up for me real quick. I'm trying here. <laughs> Alright, what you got there, Ethan? We have a giant Lake Pleasant largemouth. What are we doing today? Uh, me and Ben, well, what are we doing? We're stopping fishing today. Just yeah, we're just out messing out. around. This might be your guys' first introduction to this guy uh, on YouTube. A lot of you have talked to him in the store, but this is one of my uh, best buddies. Ethan, you guys are going to love this What's guy. What's going on, guys? You need help. Is this your first time catching a crankbait fish? It is. <sighs> Work trips, am I right, Jeff? Look <laughs> <laughs> at all the new guys. Actually, none of these guys are new. It's just I've been embarrassed to show them to the public up until now. And now you guys can see why. Well done, sir. What Thank did you, you catch nice that catch. one on? Uh, Blitz EXDR in a vanilla shark color. Can you show me the bait? This is probably one of my favorite crankbaits out here. Dirty water we're fishing in. As, many, as hard as that is to believe. River fishing at Pleasant? Yeah. Hey, we'll take it. We don't get right? dirty water in Arizona. No, often, so I'm, I'm totally cool with this right now. So, huh? shatter, another one, shatter popping. Can we go catch another one? Here, you can have the front of the boat. I appreciate You're that. You're the hot hand. See how it goes, Jeff. Are you going to catch for me. fish today? Well, of course. Oh, of course. That's what I do. <laughs> There's another one. Big one. You on? Hell yeah. You just keep sticking them there, guy. You on again? We are on again. Same point. A little round rock point. There you go. We're not breaking any size records, but hey, it's gonna we're come. Them. Yeah. It's coming. Proud of you. We gotta do numbers first. Good job, sir. First YouTube bass, second YouTube bass. Yeah, there yeah. you go. See? I like it. Yeah. And I'm gonna mess with this. <laughs> He's learning already, Jeff. Pliers, such an amazing tool. A tool that Welcome to 2022, <laughs> Ethan. Are you good over here? We're we're working on it. Nice, healthy fish, though, huh? Yeah, that one. Future six pounder. What do you think, Ben? Yeah. All yeah, right. for me. It's about three and a half, isn't it? <laughs> so this point comes way out, and it's got round rock on it. Uh, and there's a big drop off right here from about 10 to 20 foot But there's a line of trees lined up on it and these fish just stack in these trees So if you can tick the top of the trees It's almost a guaranteed bite if they're here You know, we're seeing shad flicker. So I'd assume that the baits here and for the fish just sit below them come up and pop them I definitely think that's the best color. Yeah, Did me and Taj Last year, this time. Oh. That's a big one. Oh, yeah. Dude, me and Taj came here last year and I did my biggest bag here doing this exact same thing. Yeah. Looks like he was running at you. Uh oh. What is oh, that? What do you got? Catfish? I think it's a cat. It looks like a catfish. It looked, it looked like, like a cat. flathead. <laughs> You're unhooking this one. Nope. I found this slime. <laughs> nope. Yeah, oh, definitely oh, a flathead. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Minus one for Ethan. See what I tell you, the bass sit right in the trees and come <laughs> up and eat the chat. <laughs> oh, it's in the mouth too. He ate it. Everything loves a blitz. Multi-species. What, what a lovely fish you caught there, All right, sir. Ben, you get down there and unhook it for me. 
Five bucks. No. <laughs> Done. Yeah? Done. Five bucks? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Come here, catfish. What a pretty fish. Isn't that beautiful? Holy shit. Nice. Speckled. You got a big one, Ben. It's big. All right, it. No way. I swear right, it's big, big. <laughs> He's got one on. <laughs> You can catch it. Unhooking a catfish. I'm having more fun with the catfish. It's great. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Ethan, you're oh, hooked you up. <laughs> I don't know. Is this another flathead? Uh, catfish is gone. It's running at the boat. It's another flathead. Oh. It's another flathead. <laughs> Here, I got your yeah. rod. All right. Oh, oh, oh it's a nice one. <laughs> yes, I caught a good one. <laughs> this is mine. Get him in. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> What is going on? <laughs> this is typical Ben and Ethan shenanigans is what's going on. What is, hey, hey, I'm hey, right I'm here, I'm Parker. trying to get him around. He won't turn around. <laughs> is this really how you fight fish? Uh -oh. Okay, relax. Relax. All right. What the hell? So this is how I catch it, Jeff. Frank Ben was sitting there. I think. It was. Yeah, so they're eating it on the paws right now. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> what were you saying about that color earlier? No comment there. Hmm. I didn't say anything. Hmm. Hmm. My sleeper color. Here, I'll let you hold my fish. Hey, by the way. This one's mine. Yeah. Five bucks to unhook this one. <laughs> Perfect. That's my. Right. That so, what? So you saw his rod move or yeah, something? Your rod almost went off the boat. I know. I saw a bite. Yeah. Almost yanked my rod in. It would have been worth it to take five dollars of your money. Yeah, I can get this one for you too for another yeah, five. That's all right. I'm already down five. <laughs> Two for seven. Hey. That was a great investment, though. <laughs> that was so smart. <laughs> There's a three and a half? Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's pretty heavy. He, dude, Chunky. he is. He's heavy. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Nice Good fish, one. dude. Good job, sir. All right. Ooh, angry. Hey, good job doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hey, where's my five bucks? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, gas money. Are you? Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I owe you. There's a five on it right now. Christ. What the fuck is going on? They're fucking chewing the fucking yeah. bait on the paws. What's yeah, happening with Ethan today? Alright. Oh, relax. Alright. Little guy, but fun. So we are out in almost the end of September. So for us, that means like end of summer, early fall. It's still, what do you say, 105? Uh, it's still pretty it's hot, warm. right? Um, but what happens is oh. no matter what, you want? Doubles? Sick. I'm gonna put mine back and we'll watch you fight. This time of the year, when that water gets funky and the fish want to move from the deep to the shallow, it's really hard to beat a crankbait, especially running the bank. What do you got there? You got a good one? I don't know. That's like a good one. He's not coming up back. and he's swimming way around. Be a flathead. I, I could really use five more dollars. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, a no. bass. <gasps> oh, relax. <laughs> that was scary. No shit, <laughs> motherfucker. It was <laughs> my face. What the fuck? Hey, you owe me ten bucks for that. We didn't bet on that. Ten bucks for that. That's a that's a penalty. <laughs> Anyways, what were you saying? You're trying to break <clears throat> stuff down. This time of the year. In the summertime, when it gets really hot, the fish have a tendency to school out deep. Uh, and they'll get on big bait balls. In the fall, even when the weather isn't totally cooperating, it's not really cold and the water temp's not necessarily dropping, what's happening is the days are changing. So the days are getting shorter, the moon cycle is telling the fish that they should be doing things. So what happens is that bait that's been out deep all summer is starting to move shallow and these fish will follow them up. So one of the best ways to get them is on a crankbait. So I like these mid-depth crankbaits, something like a Blitzmax uh, DR or a Mega Bass Deep Six. You're gonna see us throw a couple different styles today. But the reason I like these mid-depth ones is because we can throw them right to the bank and fish them out effectively about 15 feet so we can really kind of fine tune the depth that they're in. So if they're right on the bank shallow, then we can switch to shallower offerings or maybe even throw a buzz bait or top water or something like that. If we're catching them out deeper, we can go to some deeper crankbaits and try to pick apart that deeper water. But this is a great way to cover ground. 
uh, comes through cover well. It's great on the paws. Those last couple we caught on the paws. So we'll see if we can stick another one, Jeff. Are you going to land your next one? Yeah, you know, this one's coming in. <laughs> I hope you land it correctly. Yeah. This should be our video. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. That's got some body to it. That one's... It had a head shake to it. Let's see what you got. Know, dude. Can we get another flathead? It's been a while. It's a bass. It's fun yeah. to jump. It's going to come. That's what she said. <laughs> Jesus. Ooh, a little bit bigger than I thought it was. <laughs> Five bucks? Dude, it's a bass. Alright. Come down there, guys. There's no teeth. Yeah, there's hooks. Treble hooks. There That's you go. A, oh. Oh, you little bastard. That was That's close to the surface. One. It yeah, is. Yeah, it was right up tight under the bank. That's a pretty fish. They still kind of have that summer stressed body to them. Yeah. You know, so you can tell the water temp's still up. What do we got for water temp? It's still really high. I mean, we're looking at like 86 degrees. So, I mean, that's peak summer temp for a lot of places, right? So you can tell they're still kind of stressed, but they know that even no matter what, they need to start feeding. They're going to follow that bait no matter where it goes. One thing that we find is real critical when you come to a place like this is if you can, especially with a crankbait, is always try to fish it so that you're downwind. Always try to cast into the wind. And this is a challenge, especially when you're just starting because it, it you know, dude, nobody likes to backlash and throwing into the wind sucks, right? But what'll happen is a lot of times fish will position on a point, on a reef, on a rock pile, and they'll position to where they're set up and they're facing into the wind and they're just letting bait kind of drift to them so it's easy to pick off. So if you can position yourself to where you're casting into the wind and bringing it in a natural way to them, that really helps. And this is really where gear becomes critical, making sure, you know, we're throwing crankbait rods, right? So, I mean, I've got a Valkyrie, this is a seven one medium heavy, which is my favorite rod for this style. He's throwing an Orochi uh, launcher, right? Which is another great one for this. We've got our reels dialed in Right, we're both throwing SVT wings so you can throw them into the wind. We've got the brakes up a little bit. So even in a headwind, we can make a cast throw as far as we need to without the backlash with confidence, but it makes a huge difference in getting bit or not getting bit versus if we were throwing it the other way and the bait was coming up from an unnatural angle behind them. So, you got another one in you? Uh, no? Maybe, maybe, it's, it's coming. Okay. It's coming. All right, let's get another one. I wasn't gonna steal your spotlight right there. <laughs> mm -mm. No, it's not. No. Oh my god. But T bone. Oh. That's like he wanted it. Yeah. Look at okay. that poor that guy. Uh... This one needs. This one. This one kind of reminds me of you a little bit, Ethan. Dude, if it had a little scruff on its chin. What do you think, Jeff? That's a very similar looking creature. <laughs> creature, huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> creature. <laughs> What's the You on? on? Yeah, he's on. That's a good one. Hey, That's a fucker. Oh, no way. Oh, get. No hey, way. <laughs> left of that rock is my spot, motherfucker. Oh, no. Wow. There's some good head shakes in that one. That was. That was. Ten. Yeah. Probably 12 or 13. <laughs> <laughs> That's Please a good go one, back Nick. and eat something. Uh, do we Please. put that one in the test tank? Please eat something, okay? I'm rooting for you. Oh, poor guy. I'm going to name that fish Ethan. I just released Ethan back into the wild. Long tail? Hey, you're to the right of that rock, That's dude. That's where I was at. I shouldn't be able to see your line when no, I'm going to cast. Like it's running left. This technique. Good one? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Hey, watch it. In my spot. That's the complete opposite. Complete opposite fish. That's like right a bend there fish. From the last one. You know, thick. Yeah. Healthy. Body by Orion. <laughs> <laughs> Proud of you, guy. You keep it up. Alright. Nice one. Yeah, he is looking a little bit bend like there. Happy. Happy. Yeah, that's what that means. Happy yeah. healthy. Alright. Thank you, thank you, dude. 
See you, buddy. This is fun, Jeff. Yeah. It looks like. Are you? Oh, I thought he was oh, got in my way. He's always trying to steal my spotlight. <laughs> you still owe me five bucks. It's coming. We're gonna bet. What do you mean we're gonna bet? You owe me five bucks. Double or nothing. Next fish. Okay. This cast doesn't count. Though. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I, <got it. laughs> I was just gonna say they ate it the other way. This one fucking smoked it. It'd be a shame if it got off. No. Oh. <laughs> Dude, you kicked my rod. No, I, you I, owe me I five tripped. bucks. That's not how it works. The bet was the next fish. Yeah, I didn't bit. see it come in. No, no, no. You never said come in. You said next fish. Well, I didn't see it. I was turned around. You didn't see that? No. You were staring right at it. I looked like you had a log on. Oh. <laughs> Replay the footage. That's ten bucks. Play it back. Ten bucks, motherfucker. Have it? I saw that. That was a disgusting bite. Came right over a rock. Dude, that was so sick. Stay down there, guy. Yeah, that was dirty. Big one? It's got some weight to it. No. Yeah. I mean, solid. Oh, oh. Uh, you gonna grab it? Yeah, dude, I don't need help. All right. That's like a four pound. It's nothing for me. Oh, is it? <laughs> And she's gone. See you later. That was a nice one. Where were you? It looked like a log. I've grabbed every one of your fish. It's funny. It was like, hey, you want me to grab that? No, I don't need you to grab that. That was a nice one, Ben. That was the best one of the day. So it far. was. But it you was that fish was like two and a half. I got everything I needed out of that fish. <laughs> Except for the fish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, talk shit, get burned. That's, yeah, that's how it's it happening today. All right. Is that two fish you've lost in a row? God, that is Maybe. two fish you've lost. What does that say for him as an angler, Ethan? I mean, it's definitely not the equipment's fault, Ryan. <laughs> I mean, you can tell me here. I've Saved. <laughs> God, that was nasty. Is that a big one? Yeah. I knew that was coming. <laughs> I just, I felt it coming. <laughs> That's a nice Sorry one. about that. It's a nice fish I, you I learned boat flipping from you. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey, relax, guy. I'm not a dick. Is it like a deep water spot or something? Super shallow, wet spot. Oh. Got him? Mm -hmm. Little. Little? It's a crappie. Crappie. Put him in the live book. Crappie! That's a good one. You were talking about filleting something, Dad. All right, baby. Crappie, we are on large mouth, relax, flathead. Relax, relax, relax. How often do you catch crappie? Not very often. Out here? Hardly ever. He smoked it. <laughs> Look at that. That's a thumbnail. Giant. Yeah. <laughs> How to catch giant crappie. 69% <laughs> of anglers don't fish for crappie, correct? With a blitz ES. Yeah. <laughs> Not even white bass? No. When do the crappie run up here? Is it the same as the white bass? It's just whenever, dude. There's no... That was a wow. gnarly bite. Oh my god. Dude, <laughs> that bite was nasty. He pummeled it, didn't he? Pummeled him, too. <laughs> <laughs> it was a trade. One for one. Not the biggest fish, but sure is fun. Oh, it's bigger than anything Ethan's catching right now. So Crazy, I'm happy right? with it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It was fucking unbelievable. Like no. It was like whole different level fucking. Made a little color change, Jeff. Put on new Mary Shad. Somebody was thinking it was the color, so he bet me that I couldn't keep catching him if I gave him my bait, the last one of that one I had, so. There we go. It feels much bigger to me than what it probably looks on the camera. 
Ethan. Still catching him. I didn't see anything. Hmm. I was so I was distracted over here. A lot. He's lost 1,200 crankbaits too, Joe. That's what it seems like. I just don't have the patience to go get them. Really? Uh -uh. You know what I think? I think when they snag in a tree, it's a loser of a fucking bait. Yeah. It doesn't deserve to be fished. I'm yeah. sorry, what? Yeah, it's a fucking loser. Couldn't even get out of one fucking tree. That's your seven pounder. It's be, a good one. be a good one. All right. Can you show me that big ass crankbait that you're fishing? Big M. Well, you know, I fish big crankbaits. I, oh, I, I, you see? So why did you go over to the big M? Well, as we cut across the point, dude, there was a ton of fish way out deep. Uh, and it kind of slowed down up on top of the point. So I figured, you know, why not throw out deep? See if they'd eat it. What was that, cast number two or three and boom. Yeah. Two or three right there, bam. Nice. I hope you figured something out, Ethan. That is. Oh, the big M? Yeah. Ah. All right, guys, so that is a wrap for today. Thank you for going fishing with me, you know sir. What, dude? I had a blast today. It was a pleasure. Today, we were just out kind of messing around. We just got off work. We had a couple hours to kill. And anytime you find yourself in a position where maybe you just have a couple hours to go crunch and it's not super cold yet, it's kind of that transition, I think a crankbait's just a great way to get them, don't you? Yeah, I mean, dude, they're, they're moving up, right? They're not all the way up yet, whether they're eating top water and, you know, eating a spinnerbait way up, right? You can get down a little bit. They're on the transition. It's just a great transition bait. Yeah. Plus, I haven't been out here in, I don't know, maybe a month, right? Yeah. And the water fluctuates a lot. So we've been fishing other lakes. And so when you're not super familiar on where they're going or where a good spot is, a crankbait's also a great way just to cover a lot of ground. So, you know, just to break down the setups, I know we talked about it earlier, the Blitz Max DR and EXDR are probably two of the easier crankbaits to just have in your arsenal and just run bank with. You can throw it right up on the bank and grind the rock shallow. You can throw it across a point, fish it out deeper. And then when we get to that deeper stuff, I know you threw out and caught a couple on yeah, the big I mean, one. Dude, it's just a great bait down low. It's super easy to throw, right? Everyone yep. always thinks, you know, 20 foot diving crankbait, super hard to throw. This yep. guy, super easy to throw. You know, throwing it on the launcher with the zillion. It's just a great combo. So as far as gear goes, 14 pound is probably my main line that I throw. What about you? Yeah, I, I mean, see you shaking your head. 14, 12 sometimes, depending on where you're at. I like okay. to go light. Okay. But 14 is probably the best all around. And again, the diameter of your line is gonna dictate how deep or shallow your crankbait goes. But I'd say 14 and 12, probably the main two. If you just stay up a little higher, you can go to 16 or 18 if you need to get really deep. I mean, we have friends that throw it on six and eight pound and we see them swimming down and unhooking them from <laughs> trees sometimes. So if you really wanna get it down there, you can. The launcher, the Valkyrie 71 medium heavy, a 7-1 for me on gear ratio, you? 7.3. Yep. yep, so that seems to be perfect for me for crankbakes. I like to go real fast with it, but I can still kind of slow it down. So uh, once again, thank you, sir. Hey, you dude. owe me 20 bucks, by the way. Uh, you know. Five bucks for the catfish, then I doubled it, and then I cut off the crankbait that was actually working. You still couldn't catch a bass. It's a bad day. That's 20 bucks, it's dude. bad day. How, you many, owe me. how many crankbaits did you lose today, by the way? Uh, total of six. And how many did you lose today? Oh, I don't, did I lose one? <laughs> I think I just caught fish. I don't even remember losing one. Yeah, you know. Yeah. You could invest in a in a knocker. That's this this would definitely investment. help. Yeah. Uh, you could also invest in treble hooks. So <laughs> normally when we're being serious, we change the hooks out. Today was a classic example of why you do, because we lost a lot of fish. And almost every one of those fish we could have boated with the proper treble hooks. But this is just kind of a spur of the moment, last minute thing. So we took them out of the package and threw them. But if you're being serious, definitely change the hooks out as well. You still owe me 20 bucks. Great.